Colombia had to win. Peru coming in all but eliminated with a victory by Ecuador. If Peru loses, they would officially be counting down till 2014. For Colombia, meanwhile, the ignominious honor of being the only team to actually score less than Peru. Six goals through 13 games. Vladimir Marin, Boca Juniors wants him. It's for his defense and for passes like that. But the River Plate striker, Adamel Falcao Garcia, could not convert. Still no score in the first. Another chance, and Marin just Ooh. wide. You could hear that skip. Did that hit part of the post? You could see why so many big clubs are interested in him. It did shave the corner of the frame. Another chance for Colombia. Ball just wide of the target from Camilo Zuniga. And Peru, its offense non-existent on the day. One of the big questions for the Cafeteros, as you pointed out, Phil Shane, goals. They need to score goals. And they get one there. And it's Falcao. One of the players that fans have been questioning lately for the national team, along with Renteria, players like Zuniga, but he scores. Minute 25. Right place, right time. The corner kick goes long. Zapata loses his footing as he puts it back into the middle, but artistically guided into the back of the net past Leo Butron. 1-0 the score for Colombia. But again, remember, a goal for Peru, and Colombia would be severely hampered looking for a second. But Camilo Zuniga and company could not find it. First half, and the home side with the 1-0 lead. Eduardo Lada still could not feel comfortable. No question, second half play now. Beautiful through ball, a reach and a step and a miss by Yepes, but it's collected by David Ospina, the goalkeeper for Colombia back there. Good feint twice, three times. Zuniga sticking with it, plays it back. And a dangerous dribbling ball in front of the goal. Once again, they couldn't quite convert. Rodriguez came on. As he replaced Renteria at halftime, or just after halftime. And just playing for pride uh, for Peru. Johan Fano with the free kick deflected just wide. On Vargas, injured, had to exit. They started bringing on some of the youngsters who actually gave Peru a spark. But before they could get anything on the board, they needed some more help defensively. Boutron pushing that one wide. Falcao coming close to a second. Good work that time, keeping it alive by Rodriguez. Then on the other end, mention the kids. Ofano was camped out in the middle, but the spin, the turn, the shot. Wide of the target, no problem for Ospina. And the final whistle from Carlos Simon. And Colombia, by the narrow margin, with the victory and things still tight towards the bottom of the table. We'll have more from the ball a bit later in the program. But a victory needed by Colombia and the earlier win for Ecuador really shaking things up among the top five. So don't go anywhere. We've got more highlights from South America.